Almost a full year ago at I.O., Google announced that they were going to be overhauling their Find My Device network to bring it into what you would consider feature parity with Apple's version of the same thing, the Find My network. One word is very important to distinguish what brand we are talking about. Now, this update had been delayed. It had been pushed back and pushed back, apparently because Google wanted to cooperate with Apple. From what I can tell, Google needed Apple to release this update that would allow iPhones to track unwanted trackers from other brands, as far as I am aware. That has now taken place. And so Google has just posted this very blog post, five ways to use the new Find My Device on Android. We're going to run through these and break a lot of stuff down because there's a lot packed into this article. So today, the all-new Find My Device is rolling out to Android devices around the world, starting in the U.S. and Canada. In case you don't know, what is this? It's a new crowdsourced network of over a billion Android devices. So with this, the Find My Device application can help you find your misplaced Android devices and everyday items quickly and securely. So what do we mean by crowdsourced? Basically, this is how this would work. Let's say you have a set of Google Pixel Buds and you drop these guys into a bush at the park. Well, if you use the Find My Device application, it's going to be able to tell you where those buds were because they were near your phone. There was that Bluetooth connection there. So your phone is saying, hey, last time I saw those earbuds, this was where we were. So that's probably where those earbuds are still located. But let's say a stranger comes by and they pick up those earbuds and they start walking around with them. Well, guess what? If they're walking past another Android user or perhaps they have an Android phone, those devices will also see a device like this and they will continue updating that location so that you're able to get to your earbuds more quickly or your phone or anything that's compatible with the new Find My Device network. Now, of course, for the sake of safety, just because your device has opted in to participate in this network and to help update the location of other participating pieces of hardware, that doesn't mean that you can actually decrypt the location data of a tag or a device. You can't just see where everyone's device is all around you. Only the person that owns the device, the tracker, the tag, only they can actually see the location. This sounds very much like what Apple has, and it is. it is. It's very similar to what they have, and I'm glad to have it here. But we can go a step further. Locate offline devices. This is a really cool thing. Locate your compatible Android phone and tablet by ringing them or viewing their location on a map in the app, even when they are offline. Thanks to specialized Pixel hardware, Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro users will be able to find their devices even if they're powered off or the battery is dead. That is absolutely wild. I'm assuming that battery is dead. They're basically going to leave a teeny tiny amount of battery left over to power the Bluetooth chip in some ultra low power capacity so that people walking by are still pinging the system, updating that location. Again, specialized Pixel hardware, so we're not sure exactly what devices are going to be able to do this. More devices later should be able to support this feature. Keep track of everyday items with compatible Bluetooth tags. So unfortunately, those of us that might have a tile or something like that, they're not immediately compatible with this new network. But there are some new devices coming from, I guess that's pronounced Chipolo and Pebbleby. These tags are built specifically for the Find My Device network, will be compatible with the unknown device tracker across Android and iOS. That's kind of what we're talking about earlier, the update that Google wanted Apple to make so that we would all sort of be working together, keeping each other safe, I guess would be the way to put it, so that you can't say, my phone can't see a tracker from that brand, so some creepy person can affix that tracker to my car and I'll have no way to know it. Google, I guess, wanted to make sure that all trackers from all brands could be eventually spotted by whatever phone you're using to help keep people safe. We can take a look at these other trackers. Here's the Chipolo one, and you see works with Android 
Find My Device. And I think that that basic one is around $30, $28 there. And then we have the one from Pebble Bee, same kind of thing, around $30 for the basic tracker. And these will be coming relatively soon. And there will be other brands coming as well from Eufy, Geo, Motorola. I think even Tile has been hinted at as well. These are up for pre-order now. As you can see from this animation running on a Pixel device, this thing does fit the bill of a Pixel device. I like this interface with the map, but you can also hit the Find My Device button if you're nearby. It's going to connect to it, and then this shape will slowly fill up as you get closer and closer to whatever item it is, until eventually it's like, hey, you are right on top of this thing. It's a cool animation. I think it looks very much in line with everything else they've done with Pixels, so that's cool. Now, something else I do want to point out here before I move on is that when you look at this animation, there's no directionality to it. It's simply using proximity, and there's no mention in this article of UWB, so it either doesn't require UWB or it doesn't use it at all. I, I would hope that it at least supports it, so if you want to get a more high-end tracker down the line, it'll actually be able to not just say you're closer, you're far, but actually be able to say it's over there or it's over there, but for now, it looks like just proximity tracking. Now, this one is really interesting. Okay, I'm just going to read this. More often than not, we lose everyday items like our keys or phone right at home. So the Find My Device app now shows a lost device's proximity to your home Nest devices, giving you an easy reference point. That is really, really interesting. Last seen near living room speaker at 9.15. So it's actually going to give you those things as landmarks. Again, they all have Bluetooth. So this being turned on means even those things can help you find things. I really like this one a lot, and I like the example that they give. You can share accessories with friends or family. Put one of these trackers on the TV remote, and you can share that with your friends and family so everyone can track down the remote using only one tracker that's really smart. I like that a lot. I think the biggest question mark for me going forward is how many of the devices I already own are going to have this functionality. If I pull up the Find My Device application on my phone, I can see lots of devices, including my OnePlus Buds Pro 2 and my Pixel Buds Pro. Will they be supporting this? Because right now, if I go into my uh, OnePlus Buds Pro 2s, the last time they were connected was a while ago, and it was at a random location. I know that they are in my closet with my other earbuds, but this thing thinks that they are halfway across town, the last place I had them in and was using them. They have Bluetooth, so will they be capable of being spotted by the phone, the phones around my house and having that location updated? That's something that I really would love to know, and I'm not seeing super obvious answers to that question. For right now, the closest thing I have to an answer to that is this ending paragraph here. They say that the Find My Device network works with Android devices running Android 9 and higher. That's pretty far back, actually. And then they say to look out for software updates coming to headphones from JBL, Sony, and others, which will join the Find My Device network soon. So these companies, like OnePlus, they're going to have to actually update their device to join this network that's going to be kind of hit or miss, I imagine. Obviously, any phone that has a network connection can update its location all the time. If your cell phone has a SIM in it, unless that's disabled, it can be updating all the time. Or if it's home on Wi-Fi, same deal, it can be updating. But your earbuds have no network connection, so they are reliant upon that Bluetooth connection with something that does have a network connection. Same thing goes with these newer versions of these trackers from the two brands and the other brands coming that I mentioned. So there you go, guys. The massive overhaul to the Find My Device network should be rolling out now, so check for some updates on your device. I think I saw that there may be a change to the system settings area for Find My Device. You may have some new things pop up in there, so it could be like a Google Play system update. It could be something that's server-side that's turned on. I don't think it's just an update to the individual application itself, although who knows? When Google says we're rolling something out, we never really know how it's arriving to your device, when, how. It's always a little bit confusing because it's Google that we're talking about. At any rate, guys, drop some comments down below. Tell me what you think about this. I'll see you in the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.